No. For some reason, John Anik barked out the name of Ronda Rousey, and MMA media ran with it. <laughs> it seems to me like UFC doesn't have any headlines to generate any buzz. What's fucking amazing to me is how MMA media has turned Annex comments into this crazy fucking bullshit hyperbole. Look at these stupid fucking headlines. MMA is so dead right now that even bloody fucking elbow of all outlets, in my opinion, one of the most respectable outlets there are, breaks my fucking heart. Even they joined in on this and have constantly covered on Twitter the non-fight of the two fucking billionaires that have zero interest in really fighting each other. Meme D's nuts. Fucking sick of this shit. America is stupid as fuck. It's not just kids on TikTok. It's grown ass people. I don't know what the fucking problem is here. Can anyone read or form an opinion of their own? I am so fucking sick of MMA media and I've been holding back my frustration for about two years now. I am not MMA media. I'll peel, the cur I'll peel the curtain back a little bit. I have tried. I have applied effort toward ESPN, One Championship, Vox Media, BKFC, Bellator, MVP, fucking Sports Kita. I've had UFC credentials twice, and twice they have fucking pulled them without any explanation. For no reason. This was before the YouTube shit started. And I only started this shit because Endeavor is going to merge the WWE and UFC and people on both sides of the aisle don't fucking understand what's coming to combat sports, sports entertainment, and MMA. I've called out everyone for posting bullshit, for virtue signaling when it isn't called for, for misleading headlines, for being sneaky, stupid, two-faced fucks during interviews. And I'm calling you motherfuckers out right now for this Musk Zuck shit and for these fucking Ronda Rousey circulars. Motherfuckers just pretending to fucking do work until IFW. For those wondering International Fight Week. You know, I've even gotten a few emails about my identity. That's flattering because apparently some people think I'm someone that has access. That tells me that motherfuckers are starting to get the fucking picture. But don't want to give me credit with a like or a follow or a subscription or a fucking comment because they can't see my face or verify me. Newsflash, motherfuckers. I'm just a fucking dude that likes to create and loves martial arts, combat sports, and professional wrestling. I'm just a fucking dude calling out everything months ahead of these motherfuckers. Thinking about deleting my Twitter and not replying to any of these fucks because all they do is take the shit and then turn it into a fucking video on their YouTube channel. Like they came up with the idea themselves. Now they want to ponder about TKO group holdings. Now they want to throw on the tinfoil hat and join me in the speculation. But give me no credit. Turn it into some fucking nonsense to make it seem like this was an original idea of theirs. Now the idea of Tyson Fury and John Jones in some shit isn't so crazy. Now Musk and Zuck is worth talking about. Motherfucking court stenographer ass cheap fucking Walmart MMA media. Can't create shit. I've been calling this shit out for over two years and haven't had and haven't said shit about you motherfuckers. Taking my ideas and running with every fucking thing I have said since 2020. 21 has been right dead fucking on you know why not because i'm an insider except kim jong what's her fucking name the korean that got cut kim that's the only fucking thing i've been wrong about it's not because i'm an insider pretending to be a nobody i am a nobody not because i'm a genius analyst forecasting the ebitda of endeavor not because i throw all kinds of big words at you i don't need to do that shit i'm a fan in a spare fucking bedroom talking to you being more creative than almost all of the mma media only me no help no editor no fucking mixer no thumbnail creator no fucking management, no PR team, just a motherfucking dude. Fuck off. I watch the shows and read the material. You have to read in order to put anything together. You have to watch both WWE and UFC in order to put it together. Not my fault you hate wrestling so much that you're in denial that Vince McMahon is about to own all you fucking clowns. I can't stand Vince, but what can I do about that? I'm just a dude bitching. Basement dweller, right? I know that's coming sometime. A neck beard in his mom's basement. I know that's fucking coming. Eat a bowl of baby dicks. You motherfuckers are fake as fuck. I have been watching MMA 
for 18 years and pro wrestling for over 30. I know what the fuck I'm watching. I don't have to be a professional or be in fear of upsetting an athlete or manager. I'll pay my fucking two grand for me and my girl to go to an event. Fuck it. I don't need your bar stool milk access. Eat a dick. To the point of this fucking video, Ronda Rousey isn't coming back this year. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? This goes in the same bin as someone putting dog shit on Dan Ige's windshield and for some fucking reason, that's MMA news. Some shithead fuck followed Alex Pereira around Walmart and that's news and viral. Why? Because everyone wants to be like, oh, you're following the wrong guy. What the fuck you talking about? He's not following him to fight him. You think if Alex Pereira fucking it gets arrested for stealing, he's just gonna beat up a bunch of cops or go back to the Walmart and fuck that dude up? What the fuck are you guys thinking? What is this shit? How stupid can you be? Wrong guy to be following in a store that your job is to follow sketchy motherfuckers. This dude has got more money than what he shows. Looks like a motherfucker that attends Walmart, but may, has plenty of more money than that shit. Don't even wear a shirt, a fucking tank top, and a, a necklace that looks like he got it out of the fucking gumball machine before he went into the fucking store. Dress up a little bit and you won't get followed around, maybe. Rousey just won the fucking tag team titles and unified them with NXT tag titles with her best fucking friend Shayna Baszler. Queen of fucking spades. OG as fuck. Shout out. They have a match this weekend. Ronda has been out of MMA almost eight fucking years and hasn't been training since then. She's a wrestler. All this stupid excitement for what? Everyone forget about the USADA six month shit. Remember everyone was clinging on that shit for Connor, but completely forget about it when Enix says Ronda is worthy of a comeback? Not a title fight. That's not what he said. And what the fuck is anybody talking about an injection to the division? You get Ronda back, you've just added another shitty MMA fighter to the women's bantamweight division. Juliana Pena and Rousey belong in the same fucking bin as Musk and Zuck. Yeah, I said it. Slop this city. Ronda has no hands, no coach, and no fucking time to make any interesting MMA fight. You motherfuckers need to accept the reality. MMA media and fans alike. Stop trying to spice shit up by talking about fighters fighting who are not fighters. Don't even bring up Gina Carano and Ronda Rousey. What the fuck are you talking about? Ronda has nothing to offer the UFC outside of a marketable face. Yes, yes, you clown shoe dick riding motherfuckers. A poster with Ronda and Juliana Pena would look good for the casual. Then the fight happens, then what? She isn't even training judo anymore. She isn't working on footwork or sharpening her hands. She's a fucking professional wrestler. And I already know, here it comes. <laughs> Brock was a wrestler in his layoff, he came back. Ugh. Yeah, he sure fucking did. He got a USADA exemption, then failed drug tests. So the fight didn't even fucking matter. Mark Hunt got some bonus CTE and went on to lose four out of five more UFC fights. And is now he's involved in an antitrust lawsuit against them. Wow, that was so fruitful, huh? And you're talking about someone who's a diehard Brock Lesnar fan. You're listening to somebody who's a diehard Brock Lesnar fan. That's the first thing. The second thing is Ronda and Brock are once in a lifetime athletes in the way they change the landscape of the UFC, of MMA as a whole. The difference is Brock is a genetic freak. Ronda just has a pretty face at this point. And back in the day, she just beat the fuck out of sub MMA fighters. She came as a fucking Olympian judoka. The only other Olympian in the time was Sarah fucking McMahon. The very second she run into someone that was above average in fighting in MMA, she got her fucking head kicked off. Shouts out to hometown. Doing fucking training shots across the entire fucking octagon. Y'all want to see that? That's more interesting than Raquel Pennington and Juliana Pena. Ronda turned her back on the fans, she hates MMA fans, and she hates MMA media. What in the fuck is MMA media doing? You just love signing up for abuse. Dana's not giving you guys enough of that shit? Hey, you don't know shit. MMA media don't know shit. You don't know shit. You're nothing. Thank you so much, Dana. Thank you for the answer, Dana. We love you, Dana. Thank you. Uh, and then he made... Oh, Andre Arlovsky bought me a fucking gun. <laughs> fucking still clapping fucking rejects. 
God damn it, dude. I did not want to start my morning with this shit. I woke up to work on a video that I've been working on for quite a while. Something to give quality. And every fucking time, dude, every time I start trying to do some shit, bullshit comes up. I have shut my mouth about the Zuck Musk shit, but it just won't stop. It won't fucking stop. Shut the fuck up. I do not care if Dana made a Zuck Musk shirt, dude. Don't care. I watch fights for fighters, for good fights, for athletes, for fucking pro, elite, motherfucking martial artists. I do not give a fuck about two popular people, two popular rich people, jacking each other off in the fucking octagon. Either accept the current women's bantamweight or find another motherfucking division to like. Quit trying to pull other fighters from different divisions or ex-fighters who haven't fought in almost eight fucking years or longer. Karano ain't fought since 2009. She's 40 fucking one. Yes, let's put her in there against Ronda right underneath the two fuck faces. Get this stupid shit off all my feeds. Is Ronda worthy of returning to the UFC like Enix said? Yeah, of course, dude. Return all you want. But that's all he said. He didn't even agree. He said it. I don't agree with him, with her getting a fucking shot with Pena right away. So who the fuck took that idea and gave it to all the media outlets? Morons. Stirring some bullshit excitement with lame ass headlines, twisting and fucking ham fisting some kind of idea that this has been looked at seriously or at all by Rhonda. Get the fuck out of here. Why you care, bro? Why are you so mad? Because I fucking do. I am a fan and passionate about this shit. I can't stand having my intelligence insulted. Motherfuckers just churning shit for no reason. None at all. There's plenty to talk about. There's plenty in MMA to talk about. Also, stop fucking quoting Daniel Cormier's takes like he's some kind of fucking chief atop an unclimbable mountain. Like, like fucking 300, those three fucking beastly motherfuckers that, that fucking uh, had the oracle girl all perverted and shit and fucking uh, Leonidas had to climb up that shit. Daniel Cormier's takes are bullshit. You clickbait bullshit fake ass gangster media. I'm not done with you motherfuckers. 